Yes, yes, guys. Today, uh, machine learning episode hardware edition. We are going to install a graphics card into the uh, cloud machine, and this will allow us to uh, train our models quicker, which, as you've seen, is critical <laughs> to like being able to get good results within a meaningful, uh, meaningful time frame. In a typical setup, a graphics card handles all the computing needed to display images on the screen. Gamers need a lot of horsepower to manipulate all the pixels. We can take advantage of this specialized hardware to accelerate our computations. The processor in the computer we will use has 8 cores, while this card has over a thousand. This means we should see a big time savings. Ultimately, we can make more training attempts. Our goal is to teach our machine, so we want high accuracy and low air rates. I went with the reference model, uh, meaning as a blower style fan, uh, so I can easily stack more than one later on. I chose this model because it has more memory than most and is relatively new. This computer is what remains of my old desktop. It's an old AMD processor with various scavenged components including an ancient video card. Let's unscrew that, pull that out, and then figure out how to fit the new card in there without breaking anything. We seat the card and force a screw in sideways trying to limit any damage. Find the power cord in here, and it's super dusty despite having air filters. I got lucky the power cord fits in this case, I didn't think of that beforehand. Now onto the software. I won't go over this very much because it will largely depend on which operating system that's being used. The documentation is pretty good though. The key things to know really are the prerequisite software. There are two of them from NVIDIA. As far as I know, only NVIDIA cards are supported with TensorFlow. You will have to su supply some personal information in order to download one of the NVIDIA toolkits. It's fairly straightforward. Once you have those two main prerequisites from NVIDIA, then you can install TensorFlow with GPU support. I wasn't planning to do the hardware video so early, but I started hitting slow training with the Superhero project. It was taking roughly three days to do computations I wanted. After getting the GPU going, the same training takes about 30 minutes. I know this is just text scrolling on the screen, so it may not be very representative of the kind of time scales that I've been experiencing. But it is important to understand that there is a time scale there and the bigger the, bigger the data sets and the more complex the model, um, the more exponentially greater time it's going to require to train. So there's a certain balance required, like how fast to train depends largely on how much data you have and what, what type of hardware there is. So there's this triple threat really of data hardware and model to consider, and it's a fine balancing act that I've found. In my case, most of the difficult math has already been done, but I have limited data and hardware of course. One could make the argument that this should be done in the cloud, uh, one like Google's maybe. It's a good option if you have a slow project and you just need results. For me, I have experience with accelerated computing from the early Bitcoin mining days. So I know that short and medium term I can save by using a graphics card. In the long term, it would make more sense to use a cloud service and train models, more models in a shorter amount of time and then try to monetize to cover the cost of the service 
or better yet, just buy stocks in a company doing machine learning. That said, for education or even small companies trying to bootstrap, using a GPU is the way to go, at least at the time of creating this. In the future, I'm, I'm certain this will change. Um, so take, take the knowledge with a, a grain of sand. I have some amazing results to share with you so far. So make sure you're subscribed. We're going to cover the superhero classification episode very soon. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.